coach, one of the best in the business. I've worked with him, and they have, ever since they took this fight, they have worked tirelessly on takedown defense. Because if he can keep this fight on the feet, I believe this fight changes. I'm not saying he wins, but all of a sudden this becomes a way more competitive fight. We saw last time against Nasra, against Ally Quinter, and every time he fights, he's a confident striker. He's fast, he's powerful. He doesn't wind things up, he doesn't telegraph it. He picks his nose a little bit along the way, <laughs> but don't worry about that. When he's firing shots, there ain't no snot on the end of him. There's a lot of power. Yeah, absolutely, a lot of power. Those hands are low, like we talked about earlier, allowing that takedown defense to kind of be there even better. Trademark. There we go. We got out of now it's a Bobby Green fight. There you go. Now it's official. Bobby Green is in the octagon with his patented jump, and we're all excited to see him get in there and do his work. But that takedown defense is going to have to hold up. He's going to have to use his movement. He's going to have to punch a lot. But also keep in mind that if he overextends with those punches, that Islam is going to level change underneath. But if he can bait in Islam into even striking with him for a little bit, that really gives Bobby Green an opportunity to succeed in this fight. He said this week, I'm just trying to stay true to myself. If there's a more authentic professional athlete, I don't know of them. Bobby Green is ready for his main event spotlight at the UFC Apex against Islam Bakasha. It's one thing to be tabbed as the next great fighter and to have a champion, one of the best to ever do it, say how good you are. It's another thing to follow through and deliver on those promises. But Islam Akachev has done that to the tune of a record of 21 and one. Tonight he looks for his 10th straight victory. Many, including himself, believes if he gets the job done tonight, his next fight will be with a lightweight championship on the line as Justin Gaethje and Charles Oliveira get ready to fight for it in a couple of months. Islam Makachev has been winning Paul for a long time, but over his last three fights, he's been finishing his opponents. None more impressive than when he got Dan Hooker out of there in his last outing inside the first round, and he wants to do that again. Yeah, he wants to do that again. He wants to do that in the first round. He wants to get down to business and prove that he is the best lightweight, that he deserves to be fighting for that belt in the shadow of Habib. He's retired, and now it is his turn. That is the legacy. That is what they've been training for. That has been the plan all along for this team to go out there after Habib is gone and take over. And he is on the right path to do that. And if he can go out there and get yet another submission, TKO, knockout, whatever it takes, I believe he will be fighting for the belt next 100%. The goal for Islam tonight is not only to win the, the fight, but it's to do it in such a way that he makes a statement, that he puts the entire division on notice, that whoever is holding that belt, that they know that he is coming for them. He very confidently said, I said it earlier tonight, I believe I will finish Bobby in the first round. But that comes from confidence, not cockiness. I mean, the man's on a nine-fight win streak. Look at the corner he has behind him. Old star, training with Khabib, with his father from pretty much the day he was born, you know. I mean, these guys have been working non-stop, tirelessly. The proof is in the pudding, the results are there, and he expects to do the exact same thing to Bobby Green tonight. However, if he cannot get the takedown, this fight changes. And if you know Habib Nurmagomedov, it's a story that's well known. The legacy his father left is so important to him. Part of that legacy is making Islam Makachev the champion one day and not just Habib. Perhaps the next step comes right here, right now. Here's your tale of the tape for our main event. Makachev five years younger than the veteran Bobby Green, who is 35. Both fighters five feet, 10 inches tall. This bout is a catch weight at 160 pounds. The reach half an inch lies with the American, Bobby Green. Inside the octagon for the introductions, here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Chairman Stephen J. Klublik, 
Executive Director Jeff Mullen. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon Side are Mike Bell, Saldi Amato, and Junichiro Camillo. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, for those in attendance and UFC fans watching around the world, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the UFC Apex in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds at a UFC cash weight of 160 pounds. Introducing first, Fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist, holding professional record. 29 wins, 12 losses, one draw. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 158 pounds. Fighting out of Fontana, California. Bobby King. Rain. And now introducing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner, a combat sambo fighter. Holding a professional record, 21 wins, one loss. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds. Fighting out of Makhachkala, Russia. Presenting the combat sambo world and European champion and the number four ranked lightweight contender in the world. Islam Mokashan! All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're going to keep it clean. Touch gloves and let's do it. No touch. The confidence of Bobby Green does not look like somebody who's one of the bigger underdogs in a UFC main event, around plus 500. Meanwhile, Islam Makachev, perhaps more confident right. in his own ability right. to get a right. UFC belt than anybody else, and that's saying something. This fight clock is brought to you by Botello. Islam coming out with a big head kick. I was gonna say, there's the difference. Islam isn't just a wrestler. He's a well-rounded fighter, for sure. You know, Bobby Green was talking this week. He takes a lot of confidence from the fact that he was able to beat Jacob Volkman. Of course, that was his UFC debut way back in 2013. But he said, Volkman was one of the best wrestlers that I ever fought, and I took care of him. If I could take care of him, I could take care of Islam. I don't know if I necessarily yeah. agree with that, but still, I like the confidence. Yes, sir. A lot of fan support out there on the side of Bobby Green for the body of work. And now his 43rd fight that comes two weeks after he opened the pay-per-view against Nazrat Hakkarest in Houston a couple of weeks ago. And we've said a lot about what's next for Islam Makachev if he were to get a victory. For Bobby Green, all of a sudden, he's in the top five, you would think, after pulling off a victory, or certainly top ten and right in the mix. See, the thing is, Bobby's last fight against Nazrat, he could let the hands go in these kind of positions. Right. Because there was not really a threat of the takedown. Right now, he's going to be very strategic as to when he lets the hands go. Because not only will Islam shoot, it is the speed of the shot. Yeah. Look at how he took down Dan Hooker. Yeah. Here we go. Gotcha, now attacking. Leg up, leg up. If you need to, re control the wrist. Good. Control the wrist. Looking okay. for a trip. We'll try for the foot sweep. That's passing the test to keep the feet early. So far, but Islam will yeah. be relentless. Oh. I mean, he is he's relentless. Locked. He's locked. Hands are locked. Yeah. Look at that. So Green went guillotine, which means he's nice going out. down. See how he tries to escape now. Makacha suffocating on top. He's very close to mounting him here. And this is a terrible position now for Bobby. I mean, Islam is smothering on top. He gives no space to breathe. Heavy downward pressure. Feels like a lead blanket on top of you. And now, of course, he's going to get a position and just rain down with blows to set up a submission. Bobby Green trying to sneak out underneath here. He's got to be careful. 